Hi, this is the admission office of Tokyo University. I imagine that to enter a Japanese university is a big challenge for everyone. To experience foreign culture is a discovery and something new to learn every day. Tokyo University is a challenging university. We raised over 100 Olympic athletes. Our university is full of vitality. Let me introduce Tokyo University to support everyone's challenges. Let's get started. This is the today's content. First of all, let me introduce our campuses showing some pictures. The next content is the explanation of GLS major. Finally, I will talk about the entrance examination. Chukyu University is located in Aichi Prefecture, Central Japan, and we have two campuses. One is in Nagoya City, and the other is in Toyoda City. I'll show you some pictures of them. The first is Nagoya Campus. There are eight schools on Nagoya Campus. School of Global Studies, Letters, Psychology, Law, Economics, Management, Policy Studies, and Engineering. We have modern and comfortable buildings, as shown in this photo. There is also open spaces with lots of green. We have four libraries, and this is one of them. This place is called Seimei Hall. Sometimes lectures and presentations are held there. This is Global Education Center. International students can get various supports at this center and gather here to study and have a relationship with other Tokyo students. This is a brand new floor in an annex building called Porto Linguar, which means a port of languages in Latin. There is a lounge which can be used for a wide variety of language learning, in addition to individual learning, group learning, and learning instruction spaces. Next is Toyota Campus. There are various sports grounds and stadium on this campus because there is a school of health and sports sciences. Toyota Campus has three schools, School of Contemporary Sociology, Engineering, and Health and Sports Sciences. You can fill open spaces as well. And nature with lots of green more than Nagoya Campus. There is a big athletic field and even a nice rink. There are also judo and kendo classes that are unique to Japan. Next is basic information. Tokyo University was established in 1954. We have total 10 undergraduate schools and over 12,000 students. There are about 600 private universities in Japan and in those, only 23 universities have over 10 schools and one of them is our university. So you can find various researches at Tsukyo University compared with other universities. Our mission is a focus of excellence in learning and sport. So many Olympic athletes belong to Tsukyo University, especially figure skating, track and field, and swimming. These are world-class athletes graduated from Tokyo University. One of the most famous figure skaters is Mao Asada. 
She is a silver medalist in 2010 Vancouver Olympics. She is still popular in Japan, even though she retired in 2017. Shoma Uno is a gold medalist in 2019 All Japan Figure Skating Championship. He got prizes for the past four years in a row. And he is a silver medalist in 2018 Pyeongchang Olympics as well. Koji Murafuji is a bronze medalist as a hammer thrower in 2012 London Olympics. Moreover, many athletes are practicing hard for the next Tokyo Olympics. So let me describe the outline of the GLS major. Global Liberal Studies is a major taught in English. So this major is for students who have English as their first or second language. You can learn a variety of fields within the humanities and social sciences. GLS is an interdisciplinary major that helps students acquire the broad skills and knowledge of the social sciences and humanities needed to become independent thinkers, lifelong learners, and responsible global citizens in a rapidly changing world. The major is fully English medium instruction in which all classes are content-based and taught by professors from various academic fields within the humanities and social sciences. Thus, students must already have English as their first or second language as a foundation for successful study in the program. GLS major focuses on developing a well-rounded awareness and mastery of the great works, thinkers, and intellectual traditions that have helped to shape the globalized world we live in today. Students can choose from a wide range of classes offered in English from the different concentrations within the School of Global Studies in order to develop a holistic knowledge of the world cultures, philosophies, politics, societies, and religions through different historical periods. GLS promotes small seminar-sized classes in which students will have ample time for discussion and writing. In addition, we promote an active experiential approach to learning in which students must visit actual sites like museums, theaters, and historical landmarks related to their study and participate in internships or volunteer work in order to deepen their understanding and gain practical problem-solving abilities, which will be useful in their future careers. From now on, let me explain the three points that you should know about GLS. The first point is extra classes taught in English. GLS students can also take a variety of English medium classes from other majors like International Human Studies major, International Politics major, International Economics major, Plurilingual and Pluricultural Studies major, and British and American Studies major in the School of Global Studies. The second point is language education. We offer a world language program whereby GLS students earn 14 or more credits for Japanese language education. Our program is designed for students who have never learned Japanese or are at a beginner's level to understand Japanese linguistic structures and learn useful daily expressions and basic phrases step by step. By the time they graduate, they will be able to comprehend short articles written for native Japanese speakers and to communicate orally according to various situations and type of people. 
Specifically, the goal is to reach level N2 or N1 in the Japanese language proficiency test. The students who have passed level N1 in that test are eligible to take advanced courses which are originally designed for international students other than GLS students. The third point is graduation research. Senior students work with one faculty member on a capstone project, which allows them to integrate what they have learned of a particular culture or discipline into a broader global framework. The final project may take the form of the traditional thesis or an alternative project format, mutually agreed upon with the faculty advisor. The next content is about the admissions for GLS major. First of all, I'm going to show the schedule. First time exam will be on October 24th, 2020. So please apply from September 24th through October 2nd. Second time exam will be held on February 9th, 2021. So please apply from January 5th through January 8th. Next is the examination process. First, we will screen applicants with their information provided in application documents. Second, you will take the essay test. You can write in English. Finally, you will take the interview including an oral examination. Next is eligibility for application. Please check all of them. This is the table of CEFAR leveling systems. You need to have a B2 level when you apply for the exam. You can choose the type of qualification. For example, if you choose IELTS, you need to get above 5.5. So please check your score before you will apply. Now, I'm going to tell you how to apply for the entrance examination. All applications must be made online. First, please go to our website. You can get the admission guide via the internet. Please check your application qualifications and application period again. After that, enter the necessary information from the application form. At last, you can see the tuition of GLS major. The tuition is different depending on the type of visa you will have at the time of the admission. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, please contact us from the request form on the website. We are looking forward to seeing you. See you again.